Nap of the Earth abbreviated NO is a type of very low altitude flight course used by military aircraft to avoid enemy detection and attack in a high threat environment during NO flight geographical features are used as cover exploiting valleys and folds in the terrain by flying in rather than over them this keeps below enemy air defense radar coverage avoiding being silhouetted against the sky other, mostly older terms include, "...ground hugging", "...terrain masking", "...flying under the radar", and "...hedgehopping". Purpose NO is used to minimize detection by hostile aircraft, AWACS surveillance and control systems, ground-based radar, or attack targets. A high-flying aircraft can be detected by defense systems at long range, giving an air defense system time to react, alerting SAM and AAA missile systems and fighter aircraft. Using NO flight, the approach may be undetected, the aircraft pops up to attack the target and then turns to escape before the enemy can respond. Doppler radar has the potential to detect no flight, but the incoming aircraft has to be within radar range in the first place, and low flight minimizes this possibility by using hills and mountains to break the line of sight terrain masking, defeating terrestrial air defense radar and in rough enough terrain also airborne early warning. Topic: Sensors for no. Most no flying is done during the day using visual reference by pilots who are experienced in low flying. Data from a radar altimeter or terrain following radar system is also used. The latter enabling low flying in adverse weather where it would not be possible by visual reference and manual pilot control. At night, a night vision device may be used. <laughs> Helicopter no flying The lowest no flying is by helicopters because they have lower speeds and more maneuverability than fixed wing aircraft, particularly fast jets. Helicopters can fly at treetop levels or even below the height of surrounding trees where there are clear areas such as in river gullies, flying under wires such as electricity cables rather than over them. Attack helicopters can hide behind trees or buildings, popping up just enough to use their rotor mast mounted radar or other sensors and then minimally exposing themselves to launch weapons. The required altitude depends on the type of terrain, such as low vegetation or low buildings, tree canopy layer of less than 45 meters (148 feet), presence of tall buildings or concrete pylons with heights of up to 25 meters (82 feet) international standard, or emergent tree layer canopy and lattice steel electricity pylons to 100 meters (330 feet) being present. Overpopulated areas with tall radio transmission towers, an altitude of 150 meters (490 feet) AGL applies. In May 2011, four U.S. military helicopters evaded the Pakistani air defense system during the Osama bin Laden mission. Officials in Pakistan attributed the failure to detect the aircraft to their use of nap of the earth flying techniques. Height above ground level Height above ground level AGL in no and low flying generally vary with the aircraft speed, aircraft maneuverability and the ruggedness of the terrain. Helicopters are capable of flying with no more than a few feet of clearance below the helicopter's skids or wheels. Fast jets are more constrained and at a typical low flying speed of 450 knots 800 km per hour, 200 feet 60 meters is not unusual and 50 feet 15 meters is possible in relatively flat terrain. Power wires are a danger to all aircraft flying at low level and, "...wire strikes", 
are common, such as the Cavalier's cable car disaster. Special maps are produced that plot the routes of these wires but these are difficult to keep up to date, especially for foreign, enemy countries. Pilots are trained to scan for the pylons or power poles that support these wires, because they can be seen at a distance where the wires themselves cannot. See also Sea skimming missiles Terrain following radar Radar altimeter Low-flying military training <laughs>